All right, we are going to jump in tonight. So let, let's just let's just start rolling in. Yep. You know, one of the things that was on, on our hearts tonight is, is this. There's been a couple people who have shared a vision that, that Jesus is here. Not that he's coming, but he's here. Here in this building, here in this room, that you have attracted him. <laughs> That's a crazy thought, huh? The word says, the, eye, the eyes of the Lord look throughout the earth, looking to strengthen the ones that are fully committed to him. You know what that means? <laughs> the Father wants you to have an encounter tonight. He's looking at you saying, hey, I want to strengthen you tonight. Because he's here. He's here to strengthen you. Amen? And so one of, one of the other prophetic words is, it, tonight is a night of pressing through the crowds to touch his garments. Does that make sense? You know, the, the woman with the blood issue, she was stuck. And she was stuck for over 12 years of her life. She was stuck and she had no more resources. And she knew Jesus was here. Jesus was in her city, in her town. And she was going to do whatever it took, not just to see him, but to encounter him. You know what I mean? There was a lot of, a lot of the crowd was there to see Jesus. Right? And that's a good thing. But she was not only there to see him, she was there to encounter him. And that heart of encounter she took and she pressed through the crowds. Literally, the, the picture uh, Luke writes about is that the crowds were, they were almost crushing Jesus. Everybody was touching him. Everybody was like all around him. And here she is, this woman who is considered to be dirty and illegal. She wasn't supposed to be there because she was unclean, right? And she took a risk. She, she pressed through the crowds and she was touching the Messiah. You know, so in her Hebraic mind, if she touched him, she was going to make him unclean. Like, she's being courageous is what she's doing. She's like, I don't care. I am going to get healed. I'm going to press through. And, and what we felt like the Lord t was saying tonight is don't just come to see Jesus. Come to encounter him and press through the crowd. Press through the crowd and grab him. Touch him. Because that's what he wants. And when you do that, the power of the Holy Spirit will flood you tonight. Amen? All right, let's lift our hands right now. Just, I just feel like we want. there's a decree we want to give out tonight, and it's this. I want everybody to repeat it after me. We're just going to say it before the Lord. Jesus, we're here to encounter you tonight. Jesus, we reach to touch you. We want to touch you. We want the power of your Holy Spirit tonight. Jesus, we love you. We love you. We love you with all of our hearts, with all of our souls, with all of our mind, and with all of our strength. And tonight we press through to touch you. We want an encounter tonight. We want an encounter with you, Holy Spirit. We thank you that you are here and you're not holding back. But you want to give everything you have in mind tonight. So Father, right now, we just say, let your kingdom come. We posture our hearts as a tribe, as a spiritual family right now. And we say, we want everything, Lord. Don't hold back, Holy Spirit. We want everything. We want it all. We want it all. We want you in your glory. We want you in your majesty. We want you in your full glory. Lord, show us your glory tonight. 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 Us your glory tonight. Us your glory tonight. We're hungry for your glory. We're hungry for your glory. We want to be a people.
the people of God with the song to sing. And we're bringing our lives as an offering. We will dance for your glory, Lord. And your cross and your cross is the hope that we hold up high. As we tell the whole world of your love and light, we will dance for your glory, Lord. We're the people of God. Let's declare it. We're the people of God with the song to sing. And we're bringing our lives as an offering. We will dance for your glory, Lord. And your cross. And your cross is the hope that we hold up high. As we tell the whole world of your love and light. For your glory, Lord. Come on. We will dance for your glory. We will dance, we will dance for your glory. We will dance, we will dance for your glory. We will dance for your glory, Lord. We will lift up the shout to a glory. Every sound that we make here is glory. We will dance for your glory. Thank you. 
you are the one we want to meet. Come and let your presence fill this place. Let's just take a moment right now. Let our heart rates get it back down. <laughs> oh, we love your presence. You guys sensing him here? Am I the only one? You guys sensing his presence here? Good. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, Holy Spirit, we just want more. <laughs> We just are here to celebrate you. Oh, our hearts are so thankful. Oh. We're so overwhelmed by your love. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, that name is so sweet.
your presence fill our praise, fill our praise. Come and let your presence fill this place. Come and let your presence fill our place, fill our praise. for you, for your glory and for your fame. It's all for you. For your glory and your fame. Oh, we have come. to give you highest praise, highest praise. We have come to love you in this place. And we have come to give you highest praise, highest praise. We have come to love you in this for you.
just say, here we are. Just as Samuel kept hearing the voice calling out to him, Samuel, Samuel, he was instructed just to say, here, here I am, Lord. We have heard your voice and we know that you're here and we as a people humbly come before you and say, here we are. Have your way in this place. Have your way with us. We open our hearts to whatever you want. We want to see breakthrough. We want to see breakthrough and revival in our own personal lives, in our family, in our church family, and in our cities, and in our nation, and in the world. We want to see breakthrough. We want to see revival. We want to see you alive, fully alive in our world. We are breaking down walls, and you're coming back into politics, and you're coming back into the homes, into the schools. Would you use us? Come tonight.
As a corporate body, the Lord hears our cries as a tribe of spirit break out on the outside. There, there's, he hears that cry and he's going to answer. He's going to surprise you, the breakout on the outside. That, that manifest presence that surrounds you. But I feel like the Lord wants to go to the next level. And we're going to sing that again, spirit break out. But I believe the Lord wants to not only give an outward manifestation of his presence and a promise to the spiritual family, but a new level of inward manifestation of his presence. That the corporate revival comes and it's sustainable and scalable because the inward manifest presence that is growing and expanding. And I just feel like tonight, as a tribe and as a spiritual family, we're to declare that spirit breakout we're, we're to declare and ask the Lord for an outward manifestation of revival, but also this next time, the inward manifestation of revival on the inside of you. His spirit breaking out, not only around you, but in you. In you. I feel like the Lord is just saying, I want to do it in you as well. Not just around you, but in you. And tonight, you do, you're to declare it. You're to declare it. You're to declare it. You're to declare it over your life. You're to declare it over your mind. You're to declare it over your children. You're to declare it over your homes. You're to declare it. The Lord wants to give that inward manifestation and the outward manifestation. Inward revival and outward revival. So let's do that right now. Uh, some of you still have a question about when we use the term revival, what we're talking about. And there's a there's a phrase in John 17, and it says, "Lord, put in my heart the same love that you have for Jesus." A revival is when the Holy Spirit causes your spirit to love Jesus as much as the Father loves Jesus. That is revival. It's a white hot love for Jesus that manifests in obedience. It's real simple. And so 
that help from heaven to love God that much. You can't love God that much on your own. It takes God to love God. And you can want to love God that much, but basically you throw a switch in your wonder. And you go, I want to ask you, Lord, to do an internal miracle, which is unleash love in my spirit for the Son of God. And then you'll, that will result in you loving people as well. I want to tell you something. This is a life and death matter. I know that our nation has been saved over and over again because of great awakenings and revivals. I mean, marriages are at stake. Young people are at stake. In our beautiful area down in Fort Collins, Loveland, do you know how many suicides we have in a beautiful area because kids are hopeless? All right, so this is not... This is not an academic, nice, inspirational, cute, optional thing. It's not optional to love Jesus like this. Don't think like that. Don't think it's it's fanatical to love Jesus like this. This is normal. This is normal Christianity. This is normal Bible. So let me just pray again. Father, put your hand on your heart just again. And we're not stirring anything up from the soul. We're, we're saying, Jesus, I give you permission. Father, I give you permission to unleash the Holy Spirit inside of me so that I love Jesus the same way the Father loves Jesus. I want to be I want to be a person that's white hot full of love. That's it. And that love will start healing your soul. It'll start healing your body. I tell you, when God moves like this, your body starts awakening. Your body starts getting healed. So come, Lord. When we say come, Lord, it's not that we don't believe He's here. We're just permitting the Lord to be Himself. We permit you to be yourself in this place. Lord, it's not an option. I refuse to live beneath myself. I refuse to live in lukewarmness. I won't tolerate it in myself because it, it morphs and bleeds into my, my relationships and it gives me a lackluster level of life. I won't live like this. Refuse to live like this. And the reason we need each other is because we can be seduced into compromise. I can, you can. And why do we do tribal? It's to gather together from around the country and the world Pray and fight for one another to get well. So come, Lord. Lay your hands on somebody right now and say, Lord, release the spirit of the Holy Spirit and fire. You may not even know them. Say, Lord, release the Holy Spirit and fire. I want to love Jesus. Help this person love Jesus with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength. Help them see Jesus tonight. Yes. Yes. Good. Give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation that they might have intimacy with Jesus. Oh, this isn't just... How can I say this? A religious thing, beloved. This isn't just a churchy thing. This affects the way you go to work. This affects the way you get up and go to bed. Come, Lord. Come, Lord. You know, there's a lot, a lot of young people on the other end of your fire. There's a lot of poor people on the other end of your fire. There's nations on the other end of your passion. It's not just for you we're praying for. It's the people all around you. It's the city that you're in. Man, it's for your future children. Hello. Come, Lord.
your glory, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. It comes, we were created by you, through you, and for you. Can you just say that, Jesus, I was created by you, through you, and for you. Glory to God. For your glory, Jesus. For your glory, God, the Father. For your glory, God, the Son. For your glory, God, the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus, thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you, worship team. Let's just thank the worship team, man. That is awesome. Wow. Thank you, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome.